during the Jurassic lived a colossal fish called Leedzichthys. At 15 metres in length, it's by far the largest fish to ever swim the oceans. With giant powerful fins built for speed and a mouth large enough to swallow a human whole, its size is unsettling to say the least. But Leedzichthys was a gentle giant. Like today's whales and some large species of shark, Leedzichthys was a filter feeder. Its massive jaws weren't filled with sharp teeth, but instead possessed five huge gill arches, each lined with a row of gill rakers, structures designed for extracting microscopic food particles. The gill rakers possessed tiny teeth called fimbriations, which sat on strange delicate bony plates that are completely unique to Leedzichthys. Leedzichthys would wade its gargantuan body, pumping thousands of litres of water for its gills each second. Its specialised gill rakers catching millions upon millions of zooplankton with each stride. It's likely that Leedzichthys also fed on small Jurassic fish, such as Thrissops, of which it could eat entire schools of in just seconds. It had two elongated, scythe-like pectoral fins, each 3.7 metres in length. It also possessed a large dorsal fin, a relatively small anal fin, and an enormous tail fin. The tail fin was built of two massive lobes, with one smaller one protruding between them, and in total spanned roughly 7.5 metres in length. The huge fins of Leodzichthys propelled the beast forward at an impressive 11 miles per hour cruising speed. For comparison, that's three times faster than whale sharks. Leedzichthys lived during the mid to late Jurassic, and fossils have been found all over Europe and South America. Its discovery during the 1880s was problematic, so problematic that it earned Leodzichthys the species name Problematicus. The first fossils found in Peterborough, England, and each fossil found since, have been partial and fragmentary. This is because its skeletal elements were largely cartilaginous. Cartilage doesn't ossify as well as bone, leaving us with not much to go on. The first fossils were mistakenly identified as stegosaurid bones, but were later reimagined as belonging to a huge fish belonging to the Pachycormidae family. This family ranges from late Triassic to late Cretaceous, and inhabits a variety of niches including many large filter feeders, including Leedzichthys. The size of Leedzichthys is debatable, and can only be estimated based on calculations using other members of Pachycormidae as a reference. Estimations have ranged anywhere from 9 metres to a whopping 27 metres in length, but more recent studies place the giant fish at 16.5 metres long and weighing over 40 metric tonnes. These sizes exceed today's largest fish, the 11 metre long whale shark, and even rivals modern whales. Whale gigantism can be put down to them being mammals, which allows for higher oxygen uptake compared to fish. So what was it that fueled Leedzichthys to grow to such large sizes? It largely has to do with the warm Jurassic climate, which resulted in extremely plankton-rich oceans and supplied huge amounts of food to filter feeders. Growth rings on the fossils of Leodzichthys have revealed that it took about 21 to 25 years for them to reach full size. One particularly large specimen was found to be 45 years old at the time of its death. Being the largest animal in the ocean, Leodzichthys didn't have much to fear during its time on Earth. But the Jurassic Ocean was a scary and competitive place to be. Leedzichthys' competition included species like Cryptoclidus of the Plesiosaur family, the formidable Thaletosuchus, ichthyosaurs such as Ophthalmosaurus, the extinct 3 metre long shark Asteracanthus, and the terrifying Liopleurodon. This 20 metre long apex predator was likely the only animal at the time capable of preying on Leedzichthys, and even that is unlikely. Leedzichthys went extinct towards the end of the Jurassic, likely due to a decrease in plankton from changes in oceanic temperatures. Other members of Pachycormidae, however, lived on and thrived in the Cretaceous, such as Rhynchonichthys, who grew up to 4.5 metres in length, and the 3 metre long Protosphorina. None of them even came anywhere near the size of the now extinct Leedzichthys, however. The Pachycormidae family continued until the end of the Cretaceous. Like most large marine creatures of the time, they were unable to adapt to the changing ecosystems following the asteroid impact that wiped out the dinosaurs. The closest living relatives of this family today are teleosts, of which are hardly comparable in size to their ancient Pachycormidae cousins. Leedzichthys pioneered marine gigantism and was the first notable example of just how successful a filter feeding diet can be. Its size and power was colossal, and only a few species of fish come close to matching its magnitude. The oarfish, for example, has been known to match Leedzichthys in length, but has a thin, light body. 
In extremely rare cases, whale sharks have been known to exceed the lower ranges of lead sixthis' size, but on average doesn't come close. The only fish to truly compete with lead sixthis' size is the infamous megalodon shark, and even that is up for debate. That's your lot, folks. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already, and if you've watched this far, then you might as well like the video too. Cheers!